Good day folks. I'm continuing my investigation or a review of detector mods uh, modification to my GPZ 7000. Um, got it done about a year ago. Um, I'm looking at fine gold today and uh, I'm going to be testing a couple of nuggets. I've got a ruler with 0.235 grams attached to it and I've got a 0.115 gram nugget. So let's do some tests with that. First of all, I'm going to do the ground balance. I've done the noise cancellation already. Detector's happy with that. Now, to avoid too many points of um, inaccuracy in the measurement, um, rather than doing it, holding it above the ground like this, with a, with a nugget in the ground 10 centimeters, and trying to measure that like Woody did in his video, where uh, he, was, he, he called it gobsmacked, that video, about a year ago. And that's what convinced me to get the modifications done. Rather than doing that, I've done the ground balance, now I'm going to turn the coil upside down on the ground. Now it's a, it's a, it's a, a pie detector and that pulse is going to be interacting with the ground. Um, but I'm not going to have all the measurement issues that Woody had. So let's try now, uh, let me show you the settings I'm using. These are the settings, high yield normal, um, sensitivity of 19 and the threshold is 32 which I find is about all I can do with this coil. So let's try. Right. Point two three five grams at 10 centimeters. Let me get rid of this. Yeah, it's picking it up. Oh, this is a modified um, detector, by the way. Let's try 12. Let's try 12. Yeah, it's getting that. Let's try 14. 14 on a 0.235 gram nugget. Not getting that. Let's try 13 then. No, I wouldn't get, I wouldn't dig that. I'm gonna try 12 and a half.
No. Back to 12 then. Alright, 12 it is. Let me show you. Twelve centimetres for modified. Okay, so now I'm going to try uh, the 0.115 grams, and I'll start it off at uh, seven. Yeah, it's getting that. I'm going to try eight. Yeah, it's getting that. Let's try nine. Nine centimeters. Just check it's not my hand. It's a bit iffy. I don't think it's getting that. I wouldn't dig that. I don't recognise that as a... I'll try an eight and a half. No, it's not getting that. Let's try eight. Right, eight it is. There we go. Eight centimeters for Woody's modified one with a 0.115 grams nugget. I'm using high yield, normal, um, sensitivity of 9 and 32, um, uh, 32 threshold level, same as the other one. And ground balance. Start off with 0.235 grams at 10 centimeters. Yes, gets that. Let's try uh, 12 centimeters, same as the max on the other one. Yeah, it's getting that, you see. So already the same as the modified detector. Let's try 13. Oh, 
Well, I can hear that. I would say yes, I'm getting it at 13. That's a whole centimetre more than the modified one. Okay, I'm going to try 13 and a half. No, that's too iffy, so I wouldn't say 13 and a half. So 13 then. And let's just do that again at 13. It's a little bit iffy. I'm going to try 12 and a half. Okay, it's definitely 12 and a half. Let me show you. That's half a centimetre better than the modified detector on the 0.235 gram, gram. Now I'm going to try the point, the 0.115 gram. Nugget. I'm going to start it off at seven. Seven centimeters. Yes, it's getting it. I'm going to try eight. Yes, it's getting it. I'm going to try nine. Just about. I'm going to try 10. No, let's put it back to nine. Uh, yes, it's getting it at nine. There we go, 0 0.115 grams at nine centimetres. I wish to admit a measurement error. When measuring the unmodified detector, I had the ruler upside down, silly me, resulting in an unfair underread for all readings. Unfortunately for detector mods, all readings for the unmodified detector should be plus 5 millimeters. See video at 11.51 and 14.25. Conclusions.
based on the free videos I have made so far, my opinion is the modifications have had a slightly deleterious effect on my detector, which is especially noticeable on the subgram nuggets. I am quite certain that I have taken far more care to be scientific with my tests than Woody has been with his. I have designed my latest tests to eliminate measurement error as much as possible and done my best to be fair, having had three other attempts at this subject but discarded the footage due to perceived imperfections. I strongly invite Woody to make his own scientific videos to refute my findings. I am in the process of making a video to illustrate measurement issues and who knows, perhaps Woody will help me with that. Then perhaps I will consider other comparisons against other modified detectors. If anyone wants to share their experience with detector mods, good or bad, as perhaps it's all just a matter of quality control and I'm not afraid to make a video about it, then contact me by email, andrew underscore McAllister at hotmail.com. I do want to get the modifications removed, but I have not yet had an acceptable way forward from detector mods. It is unacceptable for me to return my detector to detector mods because, you know, things can happen, it may get lost in the post, they don't want me, want me to bring it personally, or a component may suddenly burn out just after I get it back, etc. What may be acceptable is an independent mine lab repair paid for by detector mods and my money back. Anyway, as long as I still have the modifications, I'm a YouTuber. I'm just going to preempt some comments. If a ruler is 5 degrees off perpendicular, it only makes a difference of 0.46 millimeters at a length of 12 centimeters. So really nothing to worry about. See you later. Happy hunting.